Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to be showing you a super simple way to make a engine, the engine sound effects of a car. As you get faster, you can hear the car change gears, or at least that's what it sounds like. You go into your menu, create a new C sharp script. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call this example car. Oh, no. Open it up in Visual Studios. We're going to want a reference to the rigid body. Part B. An audio source. called engine source. We want a public int gear shift length public float pitch boost another public float called pitch range. And then two private variables called float temp one int temp two. In the start method, we want to get the rigid body. So RB is going to equal Get component rigid body. Now, the reason we want the rigid body is so that we can get the speed of the car. Float speed is equal to RB dot velocity dot magnitude. Then we want to set our temporary number. So temp1 is going to be equal to speed that we got from up here divided by gear shift length. And then we set temp2 equal to the integer version of temp1. Next, we get, we make another variable, float difference is going to equal temp1 minus temp2. Get our engine source which is the audio source that plays the engine source, the engine sound effect. The audio source that plays the engine sound. We get the pitch. We get the pitch of the engine source. And then we set it equal to And we multiply that by and then we give it a time point zero. The best number setup for this, in my opinion, is 20.8 and 2.5. Also, do not forget to put the audio source that has the uh, that has the car engine audio on it. 
into the engine source slot. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here is the conclusion. The gear shift length controls how long it takes for your car or how much speed it takes for your car to have in order to go up or down gears. So you have to be going faster for the pitch to reach the t your max range, whatever you've established. Your max range is determined by this number, the pitch range. So if you set it to 1, then your max range will be, will be between 0 and 1. If you set it to 4, it will be between 0 and 4. You can even put decimals in there. Your pitch boost boosts your max range by whatever your max range is plus the boost number. And it also your boost your pitch boost is also the minimum number that your pitch can go to. So if you have a pitch of one, then your pitch will always fall down to one whenever your car is standing still. And if you have a max range of two and a and a pitch boost of one, then you're gonna get at full speed a pitch of three before your car then shifts back down automatically to one. Anyway, I hope that I helped you guys learn how to make a pretty simple example car audio script. <sighs> Sayonara.